Aloha, aloha, mahalo for being here. I've been channeling some heavy energy lately, so I just really wanted to make a separate video just to touch upon what's going on with this energy. I've been feeling like somebody's being watched. It could perhaps be a neighbor. I'm feeling like somebody has a neighbor who's an undercover. Possibly even tracking you. Hacked your phone. And I'm also hearing that they could have even bugged your house. And this is not for everybody. This is somebody who has been feeling this. Like somebody's watching them. It's like you go by the window and there they are just watching. You know? So I'm going to really tap into this energies. And it could even be talking about... You know, just the darker spirits. I feel like a lot of people have abundance coming in. A lot of people claiming their birthright, their legacy. And they see the balance coming and they're trying to call it some sort of heartbreak. It could even be this divine partnership. People who are married and they're trying to break you guys up. Or you could be reuniting with someone from a past life, from this life, and they're trying to stop it. Son of Pentacles, see, they see something coming in. Someone's coming in to offer something. Why are they trying to stop this divine masculine? Wow. Because they know that when he comes in to help you, it's going to bring you a lot of abundance. It's going to allow you to fully transform. And people are scared around you that if you fully transform, they may never see you again. You see how he's holding his pentacle and she's holding hers. They're both stable. They're both in balance. This is a very healthy connection. And they don't like that. They don't like this connection that you two have. Justice. See, the police. This could even be talking about you getting justice or someone trying to stop this connection. Oh, wow. Okay, we have a big story. The divines really have some shit to say. They're here to offer you strength. They're saying to just love because something big is coming in and they're trying to have you living in fear, have you closed off. But the divines are saying have the courage. This also speaks of self-love and having unconditional love. So love yourself enough to go after what you're passionate about. They're trying to stop this passionate adventure. They see people coming in wanting to offer you more. They see you tapping into the healing frequencies really in your power. But they want you here. They want you stuck, having anxiety. And this is also them that's going under the justice card. Now they're stuck. Now they're having nightmares. Now they're depressed. And this is you because you're out there just enjoying life. You're not even fucking with anyone. Solo pleasure. Self-sufficient. Somebody who is living a very luxurious lifestyle. And this is also, you know, speaking of that. Health is wealth. You know, feeling rich within. But look, there's that card again. This is what's coming. A big reunion happening. A marriage. A celebration. Somebody could be trying to get pregnant. Mm -hmm. Marriage. Marriage. But they're trying to cause heartbreak. They're trying to cause you to, to get a divorce. 
but their hearts only breaking the more and more they do that. And you're just healing and really supporting yourself, coming into balance with your emotions. And they don't understand how you keep rising back up, even though they put all these obstacles in your way to try and stop you. So this could even be just speaking about the spirits, okay? Somebody may have tried to send dark energies your way. But you're protected. See? They're trying to keep you guarded. They're trying to keep you... Keep going within for answers. While the divines are trying to offer you this new love, this marriage. They're trying to allow you to open up and celebrate. But you're feeling this. It's like you're tapping in. And you're trying to find out who is causing this. But don't. Give it to the divines. There's a marriage that's coming. A big celebration comes when you put your guard down. Look, you are protected. God of Wands. The divines are on your side. So when you know that the divines are on your side, you'll feel safe again to go out. Look, now she's able to go out and celebrate again because she knows that justice is in her favor. It's the lovers. And your relationship is protected too. So really, you know, put out your calls or make this bond that you have within your relationship stronger because that talks about the strength of two. So when you guys come together, it combats everything. We forgot to tap into the breath today. Look, the heart drop, the heart jump, the heart beat. Ready to open the heart. But they're trying to come. They're trying to tell you a bunch of shit. They're trying to keep your guards up, keep you blindfolded. Make you feel like you have to compromise and make some sort of choice. She's also taking her swords back out of this heart since that jumped by taking your blindfolds off and speaking the truth. Because when you take these two swords away, there's only one, and that's the Ace of Swords. And that's the snake, the snake. Okay, so let's tap into the breath really quick since I forgot to do so. There's a light going down our spine. We're tapping into the kundalini energy, the protection energy. When you tap into the hisses of the snake, it cures snake bites. So who's, who's ever leeching off of you, who's ever trying to be sneaky and be snakes around you, we're fighting them off with this breath work. So we're going to picture a light going down our spine, filling our pores, our core, letting our core rise, not our chest. And when we release, we release with the hiss of the snake. Inhale the good shit, exhale the bullshit, yeah? Wow, I didn't even really see this fall. Okay, so... So, the Ten of Cups, they're trying to have you indecisive about your relationship or keep your guards up so you don't have this happy family. Yeah, because they see you coming into union, they see you opening your heart, being generous, which is going to put you in a space where people are generous towards you as well. See, the divines are offering this, this divine partnership. You guys are protected. So who's ever been listening in, trying to prevent you? You're moving away from that. In your power. And walking back. Or walking towards. The Two of Cups. They're trying to get you to move away from that though. They're trying to get you to abandon 
the Two of Cups, but she's not. She's walking towards it. <laughs> Let's get one more. Yep, blocking it out. You're blocking out that heartbreak. But don't block it out so much that you keep your guards up. Okay, look, then we have the Six of Wands. That's a good thing. Yeah, you're blocking out that person, that energy. is You're combating it with the hiss of the snake. And you took your wand and you stood proud. Yeah, protection from the divines. Good news, recognition. The divines are recognizing that you needed assistance. They're also recognizing that you are powerful. And the magician hiding hiding they didn't know that you were the fucking magician they didn't know that you were in control they didn't know they thought they could stop you this tarot deck is by oh gosh I'll... it's art goddess i'm so sorry i was gonna mention it i don't know what happened Oh, yep, the wands. Okay, so that's what I was saying. You went from the seven of wands, blocking it out, to standing in your power. You know? You took one of those wands away from the seven. That was the ace. Victory. Because they're handing it to you. They're allowing this connection to be protected. Whether it's the one you have or, you know, something new. Look, five of wands in reverse. No more obstacles in your way because you're no longer going to be a match for that. Because you knew. Even though they were doing that, you still had self-control. You still learned how to be focused and move forward in your truth to your purpose, to your birthright. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is coming in. stop you look you're trying to go forward and knight of wands is like no 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 wait 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 yeah you remember this you remember all the times you were broken crying over what was but look the t the two of cups is right behind you they're trying to keep you focused on that keep you guarded keep you living in fear Focused on the good, sh the good, what, what? Focused on the past. Ooh, okay. Eight of Pentacles. They're trying to keep you focused on the past so you don't work on yourself. They don't want you working on yourself. They don't want you doing better. If they stuck, you stuck too. Right? They don't want you being generous. They don't want you finding people that could reciprocate your generosity. Because they don't know their passions, their skills. They want to keep you stuck so you're not out there, out there being giving, out there being a match for that. And that's wrong. But don't worry. The divines are giving you the strength to move through this. Look, she's she's tamed the lion. The lion. The lies end. The lies are coming to an end and they're hitting rock bottom real quick. They're going to hit rock bottom real quick for all the times that they tried to fucking block you. Look, now they're injured. Now they're standing guard. Now they're scared. Now they feel like they're being attacked. And yeah, motherfucker, you are. Because you fucked with a child of the divines. Look at that. Coming in. Cutting all that shit out. Cutting all that shit out. The sun. Children of the sun. You're protected, my people. My sons and waters. I love you all. You're protected. Air guardian. Shift your perspective. Focus on your breath. Aloha.